Hey there Wargamers and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. In this video, we are going to be using a traditional painting style featuring the Army Painter paints. Let's get started. Alright, in today's video we're going to teach you how to go from this to this. To start off, we're going to go ahead and take the hemp rope by the Army Painter, and we're going to use this to do all of the inner robes uh, right here, right in the middle. Uh, try not to get any on the back robes because we're going to use a different color for that one. And as usual, always thin your paints down and try to use two to three thin coats to get a nice even finish. Don't worry too much if you get some on the hands or the face or the, uh, the back cloak. Uh, we're going to be going over those with different colors, so at this point it can kind of be messy and uh, take your time with it. And again, all the paints in the video are by the Army Painter. Uh, we're going to be using them exclusively for the entire video. Once you have a nice even finish of the hemp rope, we're going to switch over to the Speed Paint Dark Wood and we're going to use this to paint Yoda's cane. And of course, speed paints behave a little bit different than regular acrylics. You won't need as much, uh, especially for such a small area. Um, I used way too much on my palette there. Um, but really one thin coat would, uh, will do the job here. And I would also give the uh, speed paint a little bit longer to dry than a normal acrylic. And depending on the shade of color you want, you can also uh, water down the speed paint a little bit more if you want it a little bit lighter. Once you have that step finished, we're going to switch over to our acrylics again, and we're going to switch to uh, skeleton bone. And we're going to use this for the entirety of the back cloak uh, including around the arms, underneath the arms, and uh, in between his legs. And with the skeleton bone, you'll want to thin it down quite a bit with some uh, medium or some water, uh, and you'll want to apply it in a couple of layers. Um, this is one of those paints that can kind of chunk up and lose some detail if you don't uh, thin it down and use it properly. So just take your time, do even coats, and I would say two to three layers for this and you'll get a nice even color across the whole cloak. This part can seem tedious because you don't get the look that you're going for uh, exactly right away, but just stay with it, take your time, apply even layers, and eventually you'll get there. I believe I used a uh, standard Army Painter um, base coating brush for most of this video, but I would recommend a little bit larger of a brush for the, uh, for the cloak here. And once we've finished that step, we're going to switch over to Yoda's skin, and for this we're going to use some Commando Green. Thin this down quite a bit, and we're going to do the same technique we've used for the skeleton bone and the hemp rope, where we thin it down and apply two to three thin coats. If you get some of the commando green on Yoda's nails, don't worry too much, we're going to be going over that in a later step. And again, try to avoid the areas that you've already painted. Once that step is finished, we're going to switch over to uh, Castle Grey, and for this we're going to go over all of Yoda's hairline. And if you do accidentally make a mistake, just go ahead and wait till it dries and take the color that you need to fix it and just do one or two layers over top of it until you uh, have a nice even color again. Give this step about five to 10 minutes to dry and we will switch over to the wash phase. Mm -hmm. 
and using a one-to-one -one ratio of strong tone and the quick shade wash mixing medium we're going to create a thin down version of the strong tone and we're going to use this on the entirety of the outer jacket of Yoda. I also used this on the uh, inner jacket as well, uh, but I decided to change this later. I didn't really get the, the shadows that I wanted off of this wash. And with this step, you'll want to give the model a nice even coat and about 30 to 45 minutes to dry. And try to avoid Yoda's skin and hair for this step, but if you have a little bleed over in the edges, that's okay. We'll be using a different wash for his hair and for his inner jacket, so having a little bit mix in the uh, recesses of the model is actually not a bad thing. Next up, we have a one-to-one -one ratio of military shader and the quick shade wash mixing medium as well. We're gonna use this to do all of the skin and hair details on Yoda. And with this wash, you might need two passes to get those really deep shadows. As with all wash steps, give this about 30 to 45 minutes to dry, and we will switch over to the next step. So for Yoda's inner robes, I decided to switch over to flesh wash to get some more contrast in the shadows. And be sure to look out for those hard to reach areas like behind his cloak, uh, above his feet. I always seem to notice these too late and then uh, have to fix them later on. So something to look out for. And lastly, this is where I decided to add a little bit more shadows to his face by adding another layer of this military shader. Since the face is typically the centerpiece of each model, you kind of want to add the most contrast there. So didn't really like the shadows I had at first, so after two layers, I was pretty happy with it. And as I was finishing up this spot, I noticed a couple spots where I made a few mistakes. So in the final step here, we're going to switch back over to some of our acrylic colors and just fix up any errors that we may have made on the model. Once the wash dries, I like to switch back over to our acrylics and just fix any errors that we may have made along the way. I noticed some wash splotches and some uh, mistakes on the cloak here, so I'm just going to touch that up and pretty much do the same thing with all of the other colors on the model. And try to avoid painting over the recessed areas that you've established with your washes. Uh, if you do, it's okay, just block it out with the color that you're using and then go back over with the wash again, and that should bring it back to where you'd like it. Always look over the model a couple of times, try to look at every angle that you can and see any spots that you can fix. And after we finish that, we will switch over in our next video to layering and basing. Getting a little ahead of myself here, I started doing a little layering on uh, the cloak here, um, but we will save the rest of it for the next video. All right, and once all those steps are finished, these should be your results. The front and a back side. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.